All right, let's talk big story tonight. I'm going to talk about two of the names that I just mentioned before. No, not people exactly, but groups. Patriot Prayer and Antifa. I know that you've heard of them, and you've certainly seen what can happen when these groups meet on the streets of Portland. It's a rival left and right wing group. They've been known to enter battle literally with each other when one stages a rally. The other one meets them there. We've seen this happen many times, but I think it's important to finally kind of have a conversation about what these groups believe. Patriot Prayer is led by its founder, this man, that's Joey Gibson. They say they advocate for free speech and oppose big government, while Antifa is often described as a leaderless group with its, its purpose is stated right in its name, Antifa, anti-fascism. But it's clear that those self descriptions don't really go far enough, do they? And their roles in ongoing protests are way more complicated than anti fascism and free speech. Luckily for us, I know a man named uh, Dr. Alexander Reed Ross at Portland State University who studies groups like these, and he gave me some of his time today. So you have politicians describing the Patriot, Patriot Prayer of the Proud Boys as they are white nationalists or they are a terrorist group or they are a militia. You kind of are refraining from putting a, uh, painting any of them with broad strokes, probably because of how deeply you understand the details of these organizations. But if you were to ascribe a, a broad stroke to these types of people for folks sitting at home, how would you? I think that there are more or less radical rights um, in ideology and creed, which generally means that while they're not anti-democracy, they're hostile to democracy um, and they're hostile to democratic institutions um, and, and to liberals, uh, but especially to the left. I've been hearing a lot when it comes to Antifa that they are what you would describe as, not you specifically, but what people would describe as a leaderless movement. Would you agree with that with that term to describe them? Leaderless, I would say definitely. Um, I think at this point, like defining Antifa is maybe a little bit uh, uh, difficult. Um, I think that the sort of, it's a, by this point, it's like a, a broad social movement. Um, and social movements tend not to have leaders unless they're like, populists who dog whistle to people like that. Um, I think uh, in this context, Antifa is more of a leaderless, complex and adaptive uh, movement. Now, after we recorded that interview, we learned that Facebook and Instagram have both removed Patriot Prayer's pages on their platforms. They said that they fell into the dangerous individuals and organizations category. Now, Gibson reportedly, Joey Gibson said that he's gonna take legal action into this or at least look into that.